Kazuma, when I got home, I thought really hard about what you said to me yesterday. I looked at myself in the mirror, poked at myself, and tried doing all sorts of, of things. Do not go into details about the sorts of things that you did to yourself. But I couldn't see myself as anything but a human. I see. After all this, it looks like what I see in this world is what others see are different from each other. But I won't give up with just that. I want to share in your troubles. I want to be a part of your world. I want you to know why I started looking like an alpaca to you. Again, this music! This music! So I want us to work together to find the cause. Yukari. I feel encouraged by her words. Yukari is saying she wants to share in my troubles. She is looking for a solution to what I'm talking about, which may or may not be real. Now I really can't say I'm going to give up. Women are tough, I see. Thanks. It's too early to thank me. We haven't found the cause yet. It's true, but I just got so grateful you're, uh, so grateful you're my girlfriend. That thing, normally nobody would ever believe it, uh, believe it, yet you do. Without laughing and want, uh, and want to find the cause of it together with me. An intense heat rises in my heart. Something is swelling up in my eyes and I can't help but turn my back to her. Thank you, thank you, Yukari. It's fine. Yukari gently hugs me from behind as she says that. Her coat, <laughs> her coat is warm from the sun and it feels so comforting. We can pull through if we both think this through. You're right. Both of us can. I'm unable, I'm unable to continue speaking after that. How many years has it been since I've wept like this? I've almost forgotten what it feels like. I can't show you, Tari, my, feel, uh, my tears, though. I hold it in. I hold it all in. Yukari gently strokes me without saying a word. Together we can. She has no uh, basis for it. Um, but even I'm able to believe in this entangle, intangible thing. Did I get in trouble for not delivering those boxes right away? We have, uh, <coughs> we have, ah, <coughs> We have today off for compensation for the, uh, to uh, compensate for the festival. We woke up early today to try and figure out why this happened. We meet up at the same spot we take to school. Ohio. Good morning, Kazuma. Hello. Good morning, Yukari. Uh, uh, but, bes uh, but besides that, I honestly can't feel, fab uh, can't even fathom where to start. We can't ask anyone about it, so how can we pinpoint the cause? Um, Kazuma, can I want us to start on the same page. On the same page? Right, I want you to explain to me how you see the world. Just with words is fine. That's fine, but how? I'll ask you questions. Can you answer them honestly with me? Or for me? Understand. I accept her proposal. I feel a bit uh, scared of what she'll ask me, but I do think we need to have a common understanding. Fact check first. It's not really a question, but you started seeing me as an apaka on my birthday. Before then, you saw me as a human. Yes, without a question. Then, can I have you look at these? Saying that, she takes out two pictures. I take, uh, I take the pictures from Yukari and look at them. One is from June this year, during the sports festival. The other one is from the fest uh, school festival we just had. How do they appear to you? Hey, finally, they bring pictures into the equation. I'm speechless. I can't believe what I'm seeing in these pictures. I had already assumed that human Yukari uh, would be in the previous year's festival photos. What surprises me is the other one. The picture from this year's festival is of Yukari as a human. What is the meaning of this? Okay, so in photos, he sees Yukari as human before and after the incident. It's only physically seeing her right now. It's as if something's programming his brain to see the person in front of him, his girlfriend, is a, an alpaca. Hmm. So is really something wrong with my eyes or is something wrong with my brain? Well, yeah, they look human to me for some reason. 
So this is how Yukari looks like, uh, looked like in her maid outfit during the school festival. Yukari, the Yukari in my memories is cute, but the one in this photo is really cute too. You can have that photo, huh? It hurt if you say, uh, if you say, "Who are you?" when I turn back into a human. She looks bashful when she says that. Well, considering she's giving me a photo of herself, I can imagine her embarrassment. There's no way I forget about Yukari, but I'll still take these gladfully. But what I see and what is in the photos are different. What does that mean? It feels like the closer we get to the uh, resolving one mystery, the more mysteries just surface. Okay, Kazuma. Yeah, what is it? Now that Yukari is talking, uh, taking the lead, we've been able to uncover things I wouldn't think about. It feels great not being alone. So this will be the last one for now, but Yukari appears hesitant to speak. And this, uh, is this something difficult for her to ask? Is she going to ask you to touch her coat? I'm fine. Ask me anything. Then, um, could I have you touch me? Yeah. What? Now, Yukari, what are you saying? We're out in public. Uh, not that. Uh, so if I'm an alpaca, that means I'd be really furry, right? So I want to compare the sensation of what you feel when you touch me to what I feel when you touch me. She's frantically adding more on to the explanation. I see. So that's why. I've already experienced that then. Remember those times I hugged you? Yeah. It feels so. Uh, it felt so good. Oh, uh, meaning. I see. I guess she really wouldn't understand with just good. Your body feels like an alpaca fleece. It's soft and fluffy and feels so good. I just wanted to keep touching it. Not in summer, though. I added that at the end. No matter how much I love alpacas, I don't think I could stand going the whole summer in that soft fluffiness. I see. So you didn't just see alpaca, but you feel it too. Feel her. Huh. Feel it. Yeah, that's right. For a second, I thought about some sort of sens uh, sensor inten uh, antenna coming out of me, but she said, feel it, not feel her. It's true. If she feels like an alpaca when I touch her, then it does. it's not just something wrong with my eyes. You just realized that, dude? Okay, then that's my last check. Is there anything you want to ask me instead? No, it's fine. Actually, I'd like to think about what's go oh, what we're going to do about this from now on. Yeah, we're uh, making headway just talking like this. But since today is a holiday, it feels like we should do what we can today. So what to do? How about you go back? to the alpaca kingdom yeah um how about we go searching the library i'm thinking about going to the hospital let's go back to the let's go to the alpaca kingdom again let's go back to the alpaca kingdom let's try going to the alpaca kingdom again what right now yeah it happened to me right a uh, after i came back from the alpaca kingdom so i think there might be a connection that might be true, but isn't it a bit far to go? It's fine. I thought this might happen, so I checked the bus schedule last night. You sure are diligent when it comes to this stuff, Kazuma. Your level of preparation is worryingly, is what Yukari seems to be saying. It feels a bit silly, but without anywhere else to search, we end up going to Alpaca Kingdom. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Since it's a weekday, the bus is uh, the bus we take is almost empty. If you don't count us, there's only about five groups of people, couples or families, on the bus. That's how empty it is. Because of that, it's understandable that these uh, that those around us might wonder why two students would be going to such a faraway place on a weekday. Man, but yeah, it's great to have got an extra day off today. Oh yeah, it was so empty here because of that. I can't wait to see the alpacas. We put on that little show to deflect the obs uh, oppressive stares of the bus guide and others. All we can do is pray that we'll arrive at the alpaca, uh, alpaca kingdom soon. 
Hmm, finally here. Go frolic amongst the alpacas. Being close to the mountains uh, means the air is really great. So skipping ahead to the boring few hours we spent rocking back and forth on the bus, it's a bit of an odd spe spectacle with dozens of fluffy alpacas sitting on the vast greenlands looking like they're own, uh, their own, like they own the place. However, this spectacle isn't the norm here. That's right, we finally arrived at the Apaka Kingdom. Normally I want to go gaze at each one of them and take pictures, but we're here today to uncover Yukari's mystery. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's your mystery, because you're the one that has changed, not her. You just see her and feel her differently. So there's no time to enjoy yourselves. However, before that... Hey, Yukari, you hungry at all? Mm. Yeah, a bit. I didn't have anything on the bus. I'm starving, so how about we go to that cafe? The cafe has a sign. We can see you can see alpacas from this cafe. We enter. Gazing at my cell phone, it tells me it's already past noon. Having eaten nothing on the bus, we decided to first solve the hunger problem. Uh, oh, a cafe you can see the alpacas from, they say. It's just a tent. This wasn't here the last time we came, so it must have been it must have opened up recently. We try the alpaca lunch, alpaca curry, and fluffy salad, all of which are alpaca themed. The alpaca lunch is just a loco moco style dish with a hamburger patty and a salad on top of rice. The alpaca curry Yukari ordered is just curry with an egg white shaped in like an alpaca on top. It's pretty plain for its name. Tastes pretty bland too. The food and the food in places like these is just to help you enjoy the mood. Yeah, that does seem to be what it's about. It's just a matter of if we have the time to enjoy the mood right now. Hmm, I wonder what we should do after this. Yeah. It's all well and good to come to Alpaca Kingdom thinking the cause is here, but now that we have arrived, we have no idea where to search or what to search for. Wait, he was bitten by an alpaca. And the alpaca didn't want to let go. Find that alpaca! <laughs> if I were to tell other people here, Hey, my girlfriend looks like an alpaca, then the ride home would definitely be uh, awkward. On the other hand, if we simply sit around and twiddle our thumbs, it would defeat the purpose of coming here in the first place. There sure is a lot of alpacas here. When I mumbled that, uh, staring out at the herd of alpacas being fed by the ha their handlers, Yukari turns to me with a slightly annoyed expression. Are you including me in that? <laughs> Not at all! There's a herd of alpacas on that rocky hill. I spit out the water I'm drinking due to Yukari's on-the-nose comment. Hey, Kazuma, she's fine then. Here, uh, wipe your mouth. Yukari wipes my mouth with a napkin. Man, I can do it myself, I tell you. Oh, oh is everything alright? I'll bring you another water. Seeing me spit out my water, an employee brings me a napkin and another water. Oh, um, thanks. Thank you very much. Not at all. I'll do... I do hope your clothes aren't wet. I take a look at myself after wear, uh, hearing that. Only my shirt is a bit wet. But it'll probably dry soon. It's fine, thank you. That's great then. Are you both students? Huh? Uh, yeah. We had an extra day off from school. We have fond memories of the Alpaca Kingdom, so we came here together. My, my, you two seem quite close. It makes me happy to hear that you have fond memories of the Alpaca Kingdom. Seeing that employee carefree smile makes us break into smiles too. I think this employee is working here because she loves alpacas and Alpaca Kingdom. Hmm, if she works here, then she might know a bit about situations like Yukari's. Um, can I ask you something? Uh, sure, what is it? Well, how to, uh, how to say? People you see. Are there times they look like alpacas? Humans look like alpacas? Do you mean like costumes? No, not that. Like, they, tur uh, they themselves appear to be alpacas. You know, have you ever heard that kind of story for people who came to Alpaca Kingdom? 
Mm, never heard anything like that. I've heard that little children say, I want to be an alpaca. But you don't mean that, do you? <coughs> yeah, not like that. Then I don't really know. Sorry. Oh, not at all. Sorry for asking such a strange question. Sorry to bother you. After we apologize to the employee, she disappears into the store. Hmm, that could be harder to talk about with people than I thought. This employee was kind enough to listen to us, but normally we would be ignored, right? Given the subject matter and everything. Yeah, so what do we do? Next time, maybe I'll start asking. Yeah, please. I always end up blabbering and... Uh, blabbering endlessly. All right, let's go. We move to the ranch area where the alpacas are after finishing our latest lunch. Um, sorry to bother you while you're working. Mm, yeah? I tried asking the caretakers preparing food for the alpaca. They mainly, uh, that's mainly because I have a hard time talking to grumpy people, but he had a kind face. Have you ever, uh, ever become so overwhelmed by your love for animals while you're working that you start seeing other people as animals? Like, say, seeing people as alpacas? Everyone here sure does love animals, but seeing things as alpacas? Hmm. Mumbling repeatedly, the caretaker ponders your, uh... Yukari's polite, straightforward inquiries. Mm, well, sometimes when I'm touching the animals, it does sort of feel like I'm one of them. Ah, yes, of course. I've never been, uh, never seen another person's face like it was an animal's face, though. Ah, but of course. Yukari's shoulders, uh, droop from, uh, droop when she heard the caretaker's sensible answer. Oh, by the way, by the way, if I went and asked the other caretakers that, they might think I'm crazy and I'd probably lose my job. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, that's obvious. Crazy might be pushing it, though. Kazuma, don't make that face, okay? You're right, this isn't the time to be discouraged. I say those words to comfort myself, but it really isn't the uh, that easy to just change how you feel. Oh, I know. How about we try retracing our steps from last time we were here? We might understand something by doing that. You're right. Let's try. Yukari, uh, Yukari, eh. Yukari uh, really does seem reasonable coming up with our next course of action like that. So, shall we start at the entrance of, uh, uh, to Alpaca Kingdom? Yeah, back to the start. Okay. We try replicating everything that happened during our previous date here as uh, faithfully as possible, but feeding the alpaca, no apparent change. Walking with alpaca, of course, no change. You, uh, you curry, uh, you curry touches the alpaca and still no change. I touch the alpaca, not a glimmer of a chance uh, of a change apparent. Had the alpaca split all uh, spit all over me, no change. No, well, the alpaca is annoyed and spat on me without me doing anything. <sighs> Nothing works. We're uh, we are at a complete loss after doing and thinking everything just as before. You carry is taking a while to get back. Yukiri went to the bathroom by herself, so I'm sitting on the bench alone, having a drink as I wait for her to return. This really is turning out to be a pretty, mu uh, pretty much a date like last time. Wait, should I do... Glancing up at the sky, I see white clouds floating uh, pacedly above the highlands. The sun feels really bright, probably because it was uh, beginning to set. A, uh, a humid wind passes lightly over me, but it doesn't seem like it was clear. Uh, it would clear away the clouds in my heart. Kazuma, sorry to keep uh, you waiting. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, welcome back. I briefly wondered why my vision was suddenly blocked by fur. 
before uh, Yukari's face appeared. We ended up gaining nothing at all. It's getting late too. When I check my cell phone, I see that it's already evening, and if we don't get back to the bus within the hour, we'll never make it home. What the uh, what could the cause be? What should we do? Yukari drops uh, down next to me. I clench my teeth in frustration. Kazuma. Her sun-kissed white uh, fur coat wraps around both my arms. It feels like all the uh, ag agravate, uh, aggravation in my heart disappears within the sun's gentle aroma. There are days like this. Don't panic, okay? We might as well just let it go and treat the trip like a date. You carry. Okay? I'm interested in that alpaca ice cream I saw at the store back there. Iwa? Uh, what could they have put in it? I sure do wonder. Let's go see. Oh, hey, don't pull. Come on, come on, hurry. In a smooth motion, uh, Yukari grabs my hand and starts running towards the store. I'm pulled from the bench and then run along with her. We end up not finding a thing here at Alpaca Kingdom, but another page of the me uh, of memories is certainly been <coughs> has certainly been written for Yukari and me. That alone makes the trip a success. After having our fill of Alpaca Kingdom, we board the same bus and head back home. It's already this late. Oh, I was hoping that we're gonna be like, oh, he went to sleep and he woke up and everything was back to normal. I guess not. It's already this late? Well, it can't be helped. Sorry for having you stay with me up until now. That's wrong! Yukari points her hoof at me. At a time like this, it's not I'm sorry, but... Oh, that's right. We promised we'd find a solution together. Yukari, thank you for today. Yes, good. Let's do our best tomorrow, too. Yeah, the match is, uh, the match is uh, only over when you give up. You know it. So, see you tomorrow. I'll come pick you up tomorrow morning. From my house? Uh, that's kind of a hike. Spare me. I'm not that much of a morning person. I could do it if, I told, uh, if I'm told I have to, though. <laughs> I know. Well, see you here tomorrow. Yukari sticks her tongue out at me. And, uh, oh, she was joking. Whenever Yukari says something, I always seem to take it seriously. It's one of her charms. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I watch her get on the bus when it arrives, then head home myself. We have just started out searching for the cause, but finding the key is still far off. Will tomorrow be the day we reveal a clue to help us understand? No, I shouldn't be uh, pessimistic about this. I believe we'll find something tomorrow. Okay. We're on to Wednesday. Day two of researching. As I expected, we still haven't uh, solved anything. Yukari and I put our desks together and eat lunch. Ah, I sigh heavily. You know what they say about sighing your luck away. Oh, I hurriedly suck in another breath. If my luck flies away in this situation, the conclusion will be that much further away. I never heard of that saying. You sighed thinking about yesterday? Well, yeah. You'd think it'd be obvious, but I never imagined our inability to explain our situation to others would put us in such a bind. Oh, Kazuma, can I take your mini uh, <laughs> omelette? Oh, well, I don't mind, but... Yukari is already, uh, already reaching out to my lunch with her chopsticks before I finish. Wow, she's so brazen in front of me when she can't even ask that to anyone else. Well, not that I really mind, since it means she's opened up her heart to me. What's our strategy to for today? Hmm, let's see. There's no point in repeating what didn't work yesterday. Uh, then we should look at this from a different angle. Uh, how about researching in the library? I think I should go to the hospital. Uh, let's go to the library today. Let's try researching in the library. Library? Yeah, we might be able to find a clue if we look up illnesses in other cases like mine. 
That's true. If it's if it's difficult to explain it to others, then it might be best to look for answers ourselves. We wait for the school to get uh we wait for school to get out, then make our way over to our school's library. It isn't that large of a library library, but it does house quite the collection within. Hmm, what book should we look at? Hard to decide with the, uh with there being this many. I walk around with Yukiri to check on which categories there are until we return to our starting point. We're definitely not going to have much enough time if we just go from start to finish. We really should narrow down the categories. Oh, it might be good to try using their research engine. Or their search engine. Oh yeah, they have one of those, don't they? I yell uh, without thinking. The other students glare at me. Yelling in the library? Yeah, that'll, be, that'll bother others. Sorry, I apologize in my heart. Other than studying when Yukari invites me along, I've never really used the library much at all. I believe I was told about it when the school systems were explaining to me, but I completely forgot. We sit at the catalog PC. I place my hands over the keyboard to do a search, but what should I put in? So I tried putting in alpaca first, but the only entry that came up was animal encyclopedias. Hmm, doesn't look like we'll find much just by looking up alpaca uh, ecology. Yep. Hmm, just a suggestion, but how about looking up medical books? I see, there might be some value in reading documents about diseases involving animal tra uh, traits or sudden mutation, for example. Hmm, mutations? Hey, wouldn't it be worth looking up old newspapers? Seems like it would be picked up by the news if there was a sudden case of people mutating into alpacas. Yeah, that would be an incident. But she didn't mutate! It's you! Well, if we think it might be a mutation, then it might be worth it to research witchcraft, miracles, and curses. She's right. Miracle and magic. That could be it. That does seem like the least uh, po uh, probable, uh, at least be possible out of the three possibilities we just listed, though. It seems more meaningful to search for act uh, actual facts than look up things with no scientific basics. Uh, for now, I'll dig through old newspapers so you can look up the medical books. Okay, got it. We split up and begin looking up different uh, different things. I read over a vast number of newspapers, uh, yielding a level of concentration I've never used before. Of course, I can't read every article, so I just glance at the headlines and follow up with what seems promising, but probably nothing. Ah, ah. Are you okay, Kazuma? I might have gone a bit overboard. I continue to read without a moment's rest until I finally finish with everything. But I have a whole lot of nothing to show for it. There were some articles about fish-faced people and animals that look like humans, but those are completely different. There are some editorials about human-like animals and humans raised by animals, but those are irrelevant too. How cruel reality can be. All my efforts were for nothing. I. I read over all the newspapers they have, but I didn't turn up anything. How is it on your end? Mm, not too good over here either. There are phenomena of seeing objects as different objects, but only seeing one specific thing as another seems to be different. That's true. I'm only seeing Yukuri as a uh, as an alpaca, not uh, no one else like that uh, like that to me. Also, the more speci uh, special eyes, uh, yeah. Also, the more specialized the book, the more specialized the lingo. So I can't understand it all. Can't help that. We aren't doctors or med students, so of course we don't know that stuff. Actually, it's a wonder she even tried reading such difficult books for my sake. Yet we still have nothing to show. Ah, uh, I just don't get it. I stretch out. On, uh, on the chair. This is just the second day of searching, though. I don't think we can find it that quickly. 
Well, yeah, that's true. Everything just seems pretty grim. You know, God never gave you more than you can handle. Never gives you more than you can handle. Oh, I remember someone saying that before. That just seems like a fancy way of saying not to give up, but regardless, it's still a bit early to throw in the towel. Anyways, it looks like they're closing up for the day, so let's go do more searching tomorrow. Whoops, this, uh, this late already? Compared to summer, the sun does set pretty quickly, but it's still pretty bright compared to winter. Well, let's call it quits for today, then. Is it just, uh, is it just that it's going to be difficult to find answers with our amateurish ways of thinking? We ended up going home without learning anything new. It's already dark again. It feels like the sun is setting earlier lately. It does, uh, I didn't think it would get this dark this early in the summer, but I feel like, uh, noticing it seems like winter is coming. No, it's not a problem. Huh? Oh, what about your club? Could she be skipping it for our investigations? If so, then I'll feel really bad. We're off for a week uh, after the festival. I see. Thank goodness. Of course, I don't want to investigate the, uh, this so badly that I rob Yukuri of her fun. When the club starts up again next week, we can't go investigating like we are now. I'll be able to keep going by myself. I won't have as much time as I do now, but I'll help you as best I can. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you all right for yourself? Are you all right yourself? With Black Cat and all? Yeah, I got a day off today, so I'll be uh, on tomorrow. So no researching tomorrow? Sorry. Not your fault. There are things I can look up at home. So I'll do, I'll do that. Yukari's bus arrives as, we, uh, as we're talking. Well then, see you tomorrow. Yeah, careful on your way back. When the bus Yukari is on vanishes from my sight, I change directions and take off on the road home. It's been two days since we started our investigation to uncover the cause of my problems. We haven't found a single clue yet. Well, no point in fretting. I'll take my time looking for the answer alongside Yukari. Alright, so it's Thursday. After the festival, I went to the cafe to work rather than going to do research. We went, ho uh, we went there, uh, here and there, trying to solve this weird uh, predicament uh, but we have nothing to show for it. I didn't think we'd be able to figure it out this quickly, but not being able to find any leads at all still leaves me a bit frustrated. No point in running around blindly. I grumble complaints to myself and sigh as I dry the dishes. 